My name is Deacon Thomas McDonald. I'm from Westford, Massachusetts in the Archdiocese of Boston, and I'm in my fourth year of formation here at the North American College. God willing, I'll be ordained a priest this May, May 25th. Good. And would you like to share with the folks back home your sense of what it was like to be in Rome in these days to witness the departure of the Holy Father? Well, it's been a tumultuous uh, few weeks. Um, like everyone who heard the news, I was quite shocked at uh, Benedict's resignation. Um, and like many others, um, my, my admiration for the man um, grew at this manifest sign of his humility and his concern for the church above all else. Um, really sad to see him leave, but uh, I'm confident that um, the church will go forward and um, the Holy Spirit will, will guide the cardinal electors to choose a worthy successor to Pope Benedict. And where were you uh, when the helicopter took off? What was where? Where were you on the roof? Were you in the square? I, I was. I was in the college. I actually had uh, some errands to run, but uh, at the moment, I, I heard the helicopter. I, I stopped and uh, I said a little prayer for Benedict, um, you know, with a heavy heart, of course. Um, but yeah, I wish I could have been up on the uh, roof. I'm Kevin Staley Joyce. Um, I'm a first year uh, theologian here at the North American College. Um, I grew up in Boston, or in, around, around Boston, uh, in Milton first, and then I moved to West Roxbury around the time of high school. Um, and uh, after college and working for a while, I went to St. John's Seminary in Boston for about a year before coming over here to Rome. And uh, I'm completing the first year, and my, my class is 2016. Very good. And what was your experience of having been in Rome during this time of the departure of the Holy Father and all that's come along with that? Well, I was very surprised when I heard it. I had just um, gotten back from a brief weekend trip, and um, at the same time, um, I was uh, impressed by how serene most of us were when we heard this. Um, at Ash Wednesday Mass, which most of us were able to attend, um, it was Pope Benedict's last public Mass, and he concluded the applause that broke out at the end before the closing prayer uh, with a, a short phrase, a very resolute. He said, uh, thank you, let us return to prayer. And that has kind of become the theme, I think, of his the end of his papacy, and also in a larger way for the church, the return to prayer. Um, Pope Benedict is kind of entering a monastic way of existence. He's taking advantage of the hidden benefits of the interior life and stepping away from public life. Um, this is kind of like what he said the church will do. Um, in one of his books he spoke of the mustard seed church, um, which may need to retract from the world and become smaller um, and more contemplative in order to uh, revive itself, um, given all the pressures that the world and secularization um, have been putting on it. Um, so this return to prayer that he mentioned kind of offhand uh, was quite meaningful for me because I, I realized uh, afterwards that this was a, a theme that he was not only taking on for himself, uh, but was uh, indeed talking about uh, with respect to the whole church. Very good. And what was your experience of being up on the roof uh, yesterday to watch the helicopter depart? Yeah, about uh, 75 of us um, or so, and uh, Cardinal Dolan and a few others. Um, Went up on the roof, uh, waited for a while, um, and uh, got some great pictures and videos of the Pope leaving um, Vatican City. And uh, we think he may have seen us. We're not sure, but he was sitting on the right side, so and he flew right by where we were standing uh, with our American flags and, and uh, Bavarian flags and uh, Vatican flags. So uh, yeah, it was a great moment that I'll remember for, I think, a long time. Um, and. Uh, it saddens me that in some ways people will think of Benedict I in history as a pope who left office, but I think um, that this was a, a really meaningful way to depart in office. It wasn't uh, just sort of stepping aside. Um, it was um, an act of prayer and an act which was the result of many years of prayer.